Your residents are clashing over the fallout from political decisions. The current situation highlights the critical need for law and order and strict immigration policies. The community is gripped by fear, frustration, and a sense of betrayal. Some here are frightened now just to go outside. Now it feels like that whole and section that's doing that. and that's what is just not available to the community. Asking our local elected anymore. That they so our parks are not available. You can't go there. Anymore. Search out you and give us a there. list of all of the empty can't lots go to the that parks. there are. Migrants from a 4,000 bed shelter nearby fill the sidewalks. They sit on park benches, on stoops and curbs, under the BQE overpass. So many people crowded in here Residents feared what was coming. We have been witnessing the escalation in violence on the street and in the community for months now. We've been pleading with the mayor, um, as we've seen increased violence, that this was going to be inevitable. And on Sunday night, it came. Two people were murdered here, a third critically injured just outside one of the two adjacent shelters in Clinton Hill. It is a neighborhood now pleading for help. Residents came together tonight to demand the city provide more protection for them now and move to downsize the two enormous and crowded migrant shelters in Clinton Hill. There is simply no universe where you can cram 4,000 vulnerable people together safely. Do you believe us now? How many more murders will it take? This video is responsible for the two Sunday night murders. In the video, he appears to be putting a gun in his waistband. The mayor today didn't offer much hope saying police are looking at a violent Venezuelan street gang as the people behind the shootings. They're extremely dangerous. We're dealing with violent individuals that are not representative of the overwhelming number of people who are coming here um, as migrant and asylum seekers. No one has yet been arrested for those murders on Sunday night, and that definitely hasn't made anyone here feel any safer. Police say they know who they're looking for. They just haven't found him yet. Clinton Hill, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. New York City residents have long voiced concerns about public safety, community integrity, and the repercussions of liberal immigration policies. Now they are living with the direct effects of the very policies they once supported, offering a harsh lesson in the real world impact of political choices. There is a strong call for law and order and stringent immigration policies to prevent further chaos. This moment is a reflection on responsibility and the influence individuals have in shaping their circumstances. Residents are confronted with the consequences of collective decisions, intertwining the concepts of freedom and responsibility. This scenario presents an opportunity for introspection, urging residents to reassess their beliefs and actions, recognize their part in the current situation, and potentially inspire them to change their perspectives or future actions. The overwhelming fear and frustration among residents stems from a profound sense of betrayal and loss of control. They voted for policies and leaders they believed would create a better society, yet now they feel endangered and ignored. The stark contrast between expectations and reality has led to severe stress and anxiety. The urgent call for increased protection and the reduction of migrant shelters underscores the community's desperate need to restore safety and normality. Public reaction is likely to be deeply divided. Advocates for stricter immigration policies will rally, using this crisis as a call to action for stronger measures. They may also view the residents' plight as a cautionary tale for other communities considering similar policies.